Boss bar is a command used to add, modify, and list boss bars. Boss bars are the bars that appear on top of the screen when you have, for example, a wither. That's a little boss bar. Ah, I'm dying! <laughs> My world! The boss bar command allows you to customize these boss bars and add your own. Let's start by adding a boss bar. We have to give it a unique ID. So let's do cool bar. Has to be one word. And then we have to give it a name. Name accepts Telrod JSON or a string. If you don't know what Telrod JSON is, don't worry about it for now. Uh, we'll go over it in just a little bit. <laughs> for now, let's just give it a cool name. Like, hi. Hello. All right, so we just created our custom boss bar, hi. Now, we can do some fun stuff with this. First, let's set it to display for us. Players add S. So this will set this boss bar to show for these players. Add S means just me. There's our boss bar. How neat is that? We can also set the current value. So uh, let's do 100. It should be 100 bit full. Boom, look at that. We can set the color. Make it red. Yes. And then I think if we actually do this again, or if we uh, visible false, nah, it doesn't matter. Okay. We can change the name if we want it if we're not happy with it. So uh, cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> We can set the maximum value, defaults to 100, but we can set it to 50. Uh, let's actually do 200. So now 100 is half of that. We can again change the players. We could change the style. So progress is a continuous bar like the one above. There's no notches in it. Notch 6 give it, gives it 6 notches. Notch 10 gives it, if I can select it, 10 notches. 12 gives it 12 notches. And 20 gives it 20 notches. It's a lot of notches. I don't know if you want that many notches. <laughs> uh, let's set it back to progress. And finally, we can set whether it's visible or not. False. Or true. This is different from adding or removing players, because technically this boss bar is still connected to my player. It's just not visible anymore. Whereas if I was to remove myself as a player, then that boss bar would actually just not even be part of my player at all. All right. Let's talk about JSON syntax right now. So before we were just sending in the name as this, oops, as a string like this in quotes, but we can actually get a little bit fancy with it. If we instead start with these curly brackets here, make a little string called text, and then do this, we can send in this is some cool text and that looks the same like why would you want to do that but this actually does give us some more control over some fun stuff i keep hitting enter and instead of the quote we can actually change the color of the text so let's do red to match our boss bar that's pretty cool we can make it bold it's pretty neat we can make it italic I believe it is italics, but I can never remember. Nope, it is italic. There we go. <laughs> uh, this is pretty neat. Uh, and this actually supports dynamically inserting values as well. So um, if I was to change text to something like, uh, is it name or selector? Sorry. Select, selector. Can I just do this? It's my name! What the heck? That's pretty cool. Uh, there's a lot more stuff in JSON syntax uh, that we might go over later, but for now, that's just a brief little introduction to the, some other cool stuff you can do. There's plenty of generators for that available online as well, if you would like to do that. And I might link some of them down below. All right, so now we have that, that sick name. Let's look at some of the other commands we can do. We can also just get some values from the boss bar, so we can get its maximum value what players are attached to it. Um, we can get its current value, and then we can get whether it's visible or not. Uh, we can get a list of all the boss bars. Just one custom boss bar, which is Crazy Cow MM. <laughs> That's me. 
that's so cool. We can delete a boss bar. Let's not do that quite yet. Uh, oh no, um, and we can delete a boss bar. Oh, goodbye. That's a brief introduction to the boss bar command. Hope you found that helpful. See you in the next video. Hope you like it. Subscribe. Bye bye.